Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from Alchemy Lacquers. This is their brand new collection that will be releasing April 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in her shop, which I will have linked for you down below. I will have her Instagram, her website, and the Facebook group linked in the description box for you down below. This is the Birds of a Feather collection. There are eight beautiful polishes, so why don't we go ahead and jump right into it. The first polish that we're going to have a look at today is called Wild Blue Yonder, and it is described as a sky blue nail lacquer with red to orange to gold to green shifting shimmer with scattered and linear holographic finish. This is going to sell for $11.50. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no running, I had no pooling, I had no staining. Nothing in there is going to dry textured, and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. This polish was opaque for me in just three coats. You might... I don't... I have really short nails right now, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see an invisible nail line with, you know, longer nails, but I really don't think that you will. I think that the color and all the shifting shimmer that's going on will distract and hide any nail line that might be present. This was three coats of a wild blue yonder and a glossy top coat. This next polish is called Resplendent Quetzal, Quetzal and it is just is going to sell for $11 and is described as a turquoise jelly nail lacquer with a lime green, green, turquoise, blue shifting shimmer, turquoise, blue, and purple shifting flakies, turquoise flakies with a scattered linear holographic finish. This polish has a lot going on, and it, I, I, this polish is stunning. Like, it is so beautiful, and its formula is just excellent. Um, Alchemy Lacquers really made swatching so easy. I blew through these. The formula on these are just absolutely spectacular. I had absolutely no issues with anything in this collection. This polish included no running, no pooling, no staining. Nothing in there is going to dry textured or give you a difficult time to remove. My swatches of this are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. And the next polish that we're going to have a look at today is the stunning Scarlet Macaw. This is described as a scarlet red jelly nail lacquer with red, orange, gold, and green shifting shimmer. This is going to sell for $11. This polish had an amazing formula. It went on so smoothly, so evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. I had no running, no pooling. I had no staining. I would recommend a base coat. This color is very pigmented and... Um, you might experience some staining, although I did not. Your results may vary. This polish is just one of those lit from within types, and it is just stunning. I hated that I did not swatch this one last and wore, couldn't wear it for a few days because I swatched it kind of in the middle, so I just had to keep on going, but this definitely went back in my to-wear pile immediately. This is gorgeous. This was Scarlet Macaw and a glossy top coat. This next polish is called Himalayan Model, and it is described as a bright blue purple jelly nail lacquer with a bluish purple shifting shimmer and a turquoise to blue to purple shifting flakes. This is going to be available for $11. This polish had a breathtaking formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had absolutely no running, no pooling. I had no staining. Uh, nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. Um, this is a very pigmented color, so again, you might want to use a base coat if you're more prone to staining with blue colors than I am, but I would recommend a glossy top coat for everything, so my swatches are going to show you three coats of Himalayan model and a glossy top coat.
This next polish is called Violet Backed Starling, and it is described as a violet nail lacquer with red micro flakes, purple, magenta, pink, orange, green shifting shimmer with a linear holographic finish. This is gonna sell for $11. This polish had a beautiful formula. It went on so smoothly, so evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pulling. I had no staining. Again, it is a deeper, more pigmented color, so I would recommend a base coat. I probably could have gotten away with, oh, I did just do two coats on this one. Never mind. I thought I did three, but I just did two because two is all you need. That's what I was going to end up saying. But this is going to show you two coats of a violet-backed starling and a glossy top coat. Next up is Southern Cassowary, and this is a teal jelly nail lacquer with turquoise to blue to purple shifting shimmer and blue to purple to pink to copper shifting chrome flakes and metallic holographic magenta glitter. This is going to sell for $11. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had zero application issues with this. I had no running, no pooling. I had no staining. Again, I recommend base coat. I feel like a broken record with this um, collection because the formula is just so absolutely excellent on everything across the board. I'm just like reaching for stuff to say to fill up the air because really there's not much to say except everything is just like wonderful. Like seriously, I was blown away with this collection. Um, I Nothing in there is gonna be difficult for you to remove and nothing in there is going to dry textured. So this was three coats of Southern Cassowary and a glossy top coat. This next polish is called Nico Bar Pigeon and it is described as a cool dark gray curly nail lacquer with lime green blue shifting flakes and lime green micro flakes. The maker did want to make a note on here that the flakies used in this polish may impart a slightly unpleasant odor to the lacquer. I did not notice any kind of odor with this lacquer other than a nail polish smell, but my boyfriend always does kind of make fun at me that my nose is broken and I don't smell anything. And he's like, how do you not smell that? But so your results may vary with the smelling on this, but formula wise, it was absolutely excellent. Went on very smoothly, very evenly. Nothing in there is gonna dry textured. Nothing is going to be difficult to remove. And that was a Nico Bar Pigeon and a glossy top coat. And the last polish that we're gonna have a look at today is called Superb Bird of Paradise. It is described as a mint green nail lacquer with green to turquoise to purple to pink shifting shimmer and micro silver holographic glitter. This polish is going to sell for $10.50. Superb Bird of Paradise had a wonderful formula. It went on super smoothly, super evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever, no running, no pooling, no staining. Nothing in here is going to dry textured and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. I did use three coats to achieve full opacity and my swatches are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. I was able to wear this one for a few days as I had a break in swatching for a couple days to do some things around the house and this polish is just so beautiful. It just, this is the perfect summer shade I think. Like it's just absolutely gorgeous and stunning. It is the perfect shade of mint. I absolutely love this one. That is gonna wrap up the Birds of a Feather collection from Alchemy Lacquer. Again, these will release April 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in her shop, which will be linked for you down in the description box down below. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Let me know what your favorite is and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.